like a child The wine spilled on your dress And all you did was smile And it was perfect I know it in my mind Welcome back. I have Kristen Olson, who's here from the Equestrian Center, and she has some very exciting um, stuff to tell us about that's coming up, and she's brand new to the Equestrian Center. Well, welcome. Well, thank you very much. I'm very, very excited to be here. So tell me a little bit about your responsibilities and kind of where you've come from. Well, um, the, the Equestrian Center has several different components. One of them is we have 12 GRF horses. Uh, that I take care of and make sure that they are healthy, happy, mm -hmm. and uh, ready to teach the residents and their guests how to ride uh -huh. and a little bit about how to take care of horses. Okay. And then another component is we have 27 boarders uh, that we that uh, are residents who own their own or own or lease their own horses. Okay. And then uh, they have the ability to use the facilities and go out on the urban trails and things like that. Okay. So and my big my big push is education. Okay. To, to teach the the residents and their guests about horses, how to take care of them a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, how important they are to our our um, emotional health and happiness right. really right. you know horses are used for uh, therapy purposes not just emotional but also physical uh, you know there are a lot of uh, different uh, therapy programs around the county for right. um, those who have physical um, limitations and things like that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, great. I was gonna ask you about that because I would imagine, you know, horses are generally very gentle. And so what are some of the benefits that an, um, an older person might find by just maybe brushing them or being with them? Well, you know, horses mirror ourselves here so that they actually teach us um, how to be more emotionally intelligent. Okay. And uh, there are horses that will, will challenge you but there are, are, are also ones that will take care of you. Okay. And, uh, you know, th horses have personalities just like people, right? right. Sometimes they get grumpy in the morning, <laughs> right? Um, sometimes they've had a bad day. Sometimes they're in pain, you know, maybe a little stiffness of arthritis and things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, you know, it really is very similar to us. Um, actually, horses are more emotionally intelligent because they're prey animals and they have to be aware of their surroundings at all times. Right. So that's, a, that's something that's very unique with this uh, partnership with horses, is because with dogs and cats, they're, they're predators just like we are, right. but we have a relationship with the prey animal mm -hmm. with horses, and that's extremely unique. They trust us. You know, they trust a predator, which is really right. a, a, an amazing thing. Right. When you have that connection, it's it's really an amazing thing. When I'm able to do dressage with a horse or jump and work as a partnership to get over those jumps, mm -hmm. nothing better. Sounds great. And so I can see where that education comes in. Yes. Now, earlier before we came on, we saw a, a band called Pickleback Shine. Yes. And they're going to be performing at an event that you have coming up called the Harvest Hoedown. Yes. So let's talk about your last year's event when Pickleback Shine performed. Well, yes, uh, I understand. I wasn't here because I oh, just, that's right. I'm, new, I'm new three months. Okay. So I wasn't here, but I heard that they were so great that they invited them back again. Yes. So they will be performing from 5 to 8 p.m. Okay. And before that, we have gone ahead and um, hired a line dancing instructor. Excellent. From 4.30 to 5 okay. to get your, te your, uh, your feet going uh -huh. and uh, toes tapping and everything before the band gets going. Right. And uh, then also, in addition to the band, we have the pony rides from 4.30 to 6.30. Okay. Um, we'll have old-fashioned games, some tossing games, mm -hmm. some concerts. Contests like we have a pie eating contest. Oh, fun! Mm -hmm. And then we also have the jelly bean jar uh, guessing contest. Oh. We'll have four of these to give away. 
uh, during each one each hour okay. of our uh, event. Okay. So that'll be fun. <laughs> and uh, we will also another one uh, another uh, new component is we're going to have a photo opportunity area. Trader Joe's has been um, um, generous in donating pumpkins. Oh, and uh, different autumnal types of decorations. So okay. um, families can come and take pictures with their family and have that little autumn uh, memory. Oh, that's right. great. That's great. Yeah. Now, so the event is this Saturday yes. uh, from 4 to 8, and it is free admission. There's no charge. Correct. Okay. Yes. And really important is that we want to encourage residents and their families to park up above at the uh, off of Via Campo uh, Verde, okay. the, the, um, and the lot up there, and then we'll have shuttles bringing them down. Mm -hmm. It's really important to keep that area clear for the shuttles to come down and, and load and unload. Okay. Um, the residents, so it's very important for them to park up there. Okay, and mm -hmm. then uh, the event, you said it starts at 4, and then yes. what time was the line dancing instruction again? 4.30, 4.30 to 5, okay. and then Pickleback Shine will be performing from 5 to 8. Okay. They will be taking a few breaks. During one of those breaks will be the uh, pie eating contest, Okay. and then the other break will be the line dancing instruction, Okay. A additional line yes. dancing instruction. Oh, good, okay, mm -hmm. that's great. Well, I, right. I can contest that they're a really great band. A friend of mine is the guitarist, oh, and, okay. and they're very fun, and they're very fun to dance with dance to, I have to say, and so everybody come because it's super fun. Yes. And uh, also, um, they have a song that they um, wrote for the Route 91 for the Las, for the Las Vegas oh, thing. Okay. So yeah, so they'll probably play that too. But they're very fun and it sounds like a really great event. And you said yes. there's pony rides too, right? There will be pony okay. rides and also there will be uh, a mechanical bull. Oh, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there will be a bounce house and a toddler area oh, good. as well. And um, it, it'll just be a great time for the family to come out and enjoy the, the beautiful weather right. and, you know, get into that spirit. Okay, and tell me the kind of food. I think you said, were there going to be food trucks? Yes, there will be a couple food trucks. Okay. One will be a Beach Bus Bistro. Okay. And the other one will be Sweet Lou's Barbecue. Both mm. of them have been in the village for different events. So okay. I think people are very familiar with their food. Great food, great variety, so that should be good. And then our Saddle Club, which um, promotes uh, our programs, uh, they help us to purchase some equipment for the horses and things like that. Mm -hmm. They'll be doing their sweet booth, which will be pies, coffee, some bagged goodies, that kind of thing. So Sounds great. Yeah. Well, welcome to Laguna Woods. Thank you. And um, I wish you lots of luck with the event. It sounds fantastic. Yes, it'll be a great time. And people will get to know our equestrian center. We really would love to have visitors come down. Visit us from 7 to 4, Wednesdays through Sundays. We have lessons and trail rides for the residents and their guests. Reservations are required. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you again. Thank you, Lisa. All right. And if you want to know more about uh, Kristen Olson at the Equestrian Center, just go on down during the hours that she just mentioned. We'll be right back after this. When it grows wild So hold me tight in the middle of the night Help me chase away the morning I just want